Hey everybody. So we're here today with the Wi-Fi Ring webinar. Um, before we start, if you would care to walk with me into the heart space, taking the three breaths. Uh, just closing your eyes, putting your attention onto your physical heart, your light within the heart. And just dropping that light straight down into the earth, connecting to that light of the earth, and bringing that right back up into the heart. And next, connecting to that light of source, soul, creator, universe, God, bringing that into the heart with that breath. And the third breath, bringing in the energies of both earth and sky, mixing them together with you. That way we can be grounded, connected in the heart space. We're creating the field here together for us and all those who will watch. So the Wi-Fi ring, I have one right here on my camera really a versatile ring it's probably one of the least expensive rings that we create now we call the wi-fi ring simply for the fact that you can use it with wi-fi but it is the golden fire so we don't want wi-fi to be the limiting factor hey we got a green screen today um, so the wi-fi ring is because it's the golden fire it can be used not only with electromagnetics it can also be used with the visible light spectrum and with water. What I mean by the visible light spectrum is that um, we have a good friend, uh, Marty Lucas, um, Dowser, radionics teacher, and he used to have us make the very first ones of these rings actually for fluorescent light bulbs and for just regular light bulbs. Basically, with a fluorescent light bulb tube, you can slide this right over the tube and it changes the energy and the frequency of the lights um, of fluorescent lighting. And of course, you can do that with uh, the incandescent bulbs where you just put this in, screw it in. And especially LED bulbs, um, so many of us are really sensitive to certain frequencies of LED. And so these, Marty Lucas used to just call them light bulb rings. I think that's what we called them when we first started out with the sacred cubit with this size of ring was a light bulb ring. And so once we, the golden fire came along, um, it became so much more because this little ring, um, you know, using it for light bulbs is pretty phenomenal. Um, it just switches the, the energetics of the light bulb. But then we can also use it for different things like um, radionics, like what our buddy Marty does is radionics where it's, it's a frequency emitting device that creates frequency in an AM radio wave um, that they send frequencies for all different sorts of things for healing, clearing. Um, but these guys are working with different frequency machines like radionics or your spooky tube broadcasters, your frequency broadcasters as well as organite because um, organite is a piezoelectric power that uses the power of the crystals and the inorganic and organic layers basically the wi-fi ring um, changes the energetic output harmonizes things so you can put one of these little guys underneath your orgone or on top of your organite pyramid things like that and it totally changes the energetics there too so light um, energy devices. One of the things too with uh, water. So water, obviously you can use this as a water ring. Here's our good Aquafina bottle that's been sitting around this uh, demonstration prop all the time. You can just set it right on top, right underneath, doesn't matter. Um, people will put these over their garden hoses. They'll put it over, um, you know, like your incoming water lines because that'll fit a one and a half inch black water line uh, just depending on the water lines you use so basically you can use these with water too as water runs through it like with any tensor ring it's not going to restructure the water to be pure h2o crystalline structure lighter in weight all that fun stuff because water needs to sit within this column of energy for about four to six hours 
for it to be physically restructured. But as your water runs through this ring, if you have it around the pipe, it will basically clear the energetics of the water, clearing the memory of the water, and also sending it into that more organized phase. Um, so yeah, do, working with water in a flow is great. It's better to work with water when it is sitting for a while. So Wi-Fi ring can be used for water as well. Now, a lot of people are using rings over the years to put over their shower heads so, and their faucets. So we again, we don't see that it is doing anything huge. Be well, it is still huge doing the the clearing work, the energetic clearing work of the water, the the resetting of the memory. Those types of things will happen when you put this over your faucet or over your shower head. But one of the most important things we see working with the Wi-Fi ring and your water faucet. If you slip this over your water faucet with intention of it clearing the any of the electromagnetics that are within the water, any of that dirty electricity that flows through there, anything that has occurred with the water between the water tower and here. If you have those intentions of cleaning, clearing that water from your faucet all the way back to your local water holding facility, you slip that on there, just imagine that energy flowing back with the water, back to your water tower. Uh, for lots of reasons, because your water can have stray voltage in it, because depending on, you know, your plumbing and electrical codes when your house was built, a lot of times it used to be that electricians would use the copper piping within the home to ground your electrical. And so you'd always get that interface there between the water and your electrical system. Otherwise, your water towers, your water tanks, you know, the municipalities will rent out those really high spaces to all the, the cluster towers for cell phones. I love my cell phone. Don't get me wrong. But cell phone towers on water, it's, it's microwaving the water. So for us, we can anchor columns of light into those water tanks, which is phenomenal. I sure suggest you check out our Golden Fire and Light Rod video and anchor columns of light into those places. But using the Wi-Fi ring, slipping it over the water faucet again with intention visualization visualizing that energy of the wi-fi ring going all the way through the pipelines back to your water facility that's huge that can shift it for everybody so other uses of the wi-fi rings um you know people are using them just as a pendant as a pocket piece there's a lot of people who design pendants around these and actually our our gateway pendant he utilizes this outer ring, the Wi-Fi ring. So, um, so I guess right now I'm going to put it up if anybody has questions and things. And hey, guys, it's good to see you guys. Um, appreciate everyone being here, um, Ireland, everywhere else. So if you guys have questions, please do let me know here. Um, so the Wi-Fi ring, yep, it can be used for, for your own personal stuff, wearing as a pendant, carrying in the pocket. It'll protect your fields. Um, the ring that we use for our, uh, this isn't the cell phone ring, as most of you know, our cell phone rings are a smaller ring. But I use, on my phone, I'm using the, the ring, the two-inch disc that we have for the electrical panels. These guys are the same frequency. I do know of a gentleman who has a ranch and, um, and he creates devices too. He put the Wi-Fi ring in with his devices and, um, for the electrical. And he's seen that they've had a decrease in electric bills of like 40% over the past year. So, I mean, there's a lot of people who are using the Wi-Fi rings to just put onto your fuse panel which like I say, it is the same frequency as the two inch disc. So you can use these. Um, you can also use these on those green electrical transformer boxes that you see sitting out in yards. If you can get this guy, set it underneath of one of those boxes or down in the soil because those boxes produce a large field of energy. As long as the Wi-Fi ring is connected into that, it changes every household that is connected to that transformer box. These guys are super powerful for that, um, for transforming electric. So, um, 
and just another one of the uses. Uh, let's see another in, you know, cause this, it isn't an expensive ring. So, I mean, you can use these guys in just about every application. I mean, you can use them to clean and clear your crystals. Um, again, water, electric self. So somebody asked about how do you use it for Wi-Fi? <laughs> Good question. It is the Wi-Fi ring. So, um, with the Wi-Fi boxes, and I guess we can't see mine here from the camera, but the older Wi-Fi boxes all have antennas on them, and you can just slip it over the antenna, or you can just sit it, you know, under your box. The newer boxes, um, yeah, they're they're pretty funky. Um, usually, I have a tensor field generator that I have in the home that will just clear any Wi-Fi transmissions. Well, when I got my newest uh, Wi-Fi box from from the cable company. Uh, they're pretty intense. Granted, I like my Wi-Fi and it's great because it puts it in a 5 gigahertz, not 5G. Everybody has the issue with 5G in their home, but it's not um, for Wi-Fi. It's 5 gigahertz. It's not the fifth generation millimeter waves, but the 5 gigahertz is still pretty funky. So Wi-Fi rings for all those newer routers, um, Wi-Fi transmitters in the home. Is fantastic. Basically, you can set the ring underneath of it, on top of it, lean it on it. Doesn't matter. Again, where that box is producing a field, as long as this Wi-Fi is connecting into that field being produced by the box, it's good. It's connecting in. Um, so yeah, I think that is about all I have on the Wi-Fi ring. Um, you know, like I say, it's a, it's a super versatile ring. And, and there are a lot of uses. Um, gas. Somebody asked the other day about using a Wi-Fi ring for filling up their gas tank because there was always that talk about how somebody got better fuel mileage with using the Wi-Fi ring because it structured the gas. Well, we're not seeing that it did structuring to the gas, but the Wi-Fi ring acts as a tool of attention for our intentions. So with our attention, we are sitting this over the gas um, as we're filling in. And as we're putting the nozzle in and we're having our attention focus there, our intention is that we're going to have better gas mileage. We see that this is just the interface for us to interact with the gas, the car, that we are those powerful creators that are creating better gas mileage not the ring. The ring is only there as that, that tool for holding your attention. Attention. Um, so anyway, kind of an interesting concept, but not being used for increasing gas mileage, just this as we've seen. But again, we're powerful creators. Put it on your engine once and have the intention that you're going to get better gas mileage because you're harmonizing everything within the engine. You just never know. Um, let's see, another question here. Can any of the tensor tools be shared with either family or friends? And so that's really a beautiful thing about the tensor tools is they're self-clearing. They don't pick up anybody else's garbage. So, I mean, you can pass this ring along to family and friends, especially if you get the energetic transformation kit. It comes with the Wi-Fi ring. If you're not using it, totally you can give it to somebody. You can get it back, give it to somebody else because you're never going to um, do any harm by transferring energies. Let's see. And so, nope, no cleansing needed. Um, yeah, they are great clearing tools. So you can use it um, for anything that you would use any larger rings for. I know a lot of people who do dowsing work, they'll douse, they'll find a you know, like a geomagnetic intersection within a home that creates a vortex that's non-beneficial. Basically, if you know how to find one of those, you put the ring right there on that spot, leave it, and it just clears it. Of course, that's, again, what our tensor field generators are doing as well as they are clearing those geomagnetics. Well, a lot of <clears throat> a lot of the tools that we make, like the Wings of Talk, the Starburst, um, are working with those geomagnetic tool or geomagnetic lines. But, um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, yeah, um, if you guys do have other uses that you use the Wi-Fi rings for, we'd love to hear it. Send in a testimonial. 
um, just basically go to the product page. There's a place to put a testimonial, and uh, we'd love to hear how you're using them because I know there's a ton of testimonials. I think there's like 40 of them on the Wi-Fi ring, um, and love for you guys to check out the testimonials there anyway just to see what other people are saying about the Wi-Fi rings because people are using the tools in, in ways that we would have never even thought of which is, again, why we've never wanted to put instructions because we don't want to limit the use and possibilities. Imagination is the limit on these. So anyway, if there's no more questions, then we'll, we'll sign off with this one. Um, I ask that you please do experiment. Experiment with your light bulbs. I just have a new studio light that I just put in right now, and, man, this thing's bugging me. So I'm going to sign off and go put this Wi-Fi ring onto that light. So all righty. Good to see you guys. See you next time.